Hi guys, so it's Tay the Traveller, also known as Tavanga. Um, so today we're going to talk about toxic friendships and how to spot a toxic friend. Um, I actually think this video is super important because I think up until last year, 2017, I actually didn't really know what a toxic friendship was or like a frenemy was. Um, until I watched a TED talk and that TED talk made me think and I was like, hold up, there are certain people in my life that um, I think are my friends but are actually really toxic towards me and they made me reassess my friendships, reassess the people that I allowed into my hearts of hearts, my holies of holies, my inner court. And so I decided to make this video because I thought it would be really beneficial for other people. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to give you guys kind of like key things to identify um, when it comes to a toxic friends. So the first thing is toxic friends are never happy for you. They're the kind of people that when you call them to tell them good news, their tone of voice kind of depletes and they're just like, oh, wow, that's great. And you instantly hear by the tone that something has changed. Another thing that they would do is that when you tell them good news, they are so quick to find holes in what you've told them. You call them, you're super excited about a new opportunity, about a business plan, you know, about going back to school, about getting a master's, all these things. And they're very quick to be like, oh, okay, but if you consider that, oh, you know, I know somebody that wanted to do that business and it never worked out. And look, there's a difference between friends who give you wise counsel. So you come to them with an idea and they're like okay you know that sounds really great but have you considered this have you considered that and they give you a reality check the difference between that and somebody who pokes holes in your dreams is that they won't find anything positive they are just quick to be like it's not going to work and i don't think it's a good idea and also it's continuous it's not just like the one thing you bring it's every time you tell them something good that's going on in your life they will find holes in it so that's the first thing toxic friends are never happy for you Number two, toxic friends will always give you really shady compliments. You know the kind of people that give you like backhanded compliments that you're not really sure, was it an insult, was it a compliment? <laughs> and it just always leaves you feeling a bit weird, a bit funny inside. That's toxic. Like if every time they give you a compliment, you have to kind of like step back and assess whether it was actually an insult or not that is a sign of a toxic friend your friends are meant to build you up and speak life over you not make you second guess everything they say and second guess yourself that's the second thing a third thing about a toxic friend is that they never want to apologize like you guys have an argument they kind of want to come back and just be buddy buddy and not actually address what they've done and not take responsibility not say do you know what i'm really sorry about how, what happened that wasn't okay and then reconcile they're very quick to want to reconcile but not actually address the issue and people like that fail to take responsibility for their actions they fail to actually admit that they've wronged you that is a sign of a toxic friend okay i think it's number five we're on number five sign to show that somebody is toxic for your life is that they are always the receiver and you are always the giver and this will be in material things as well like you're always the one that's buying them lunch sending them gifts you know doing stuff for them and they are so quick and so happy to receive but never think like oh wait the last time we went out you paid let me pay they are always happy to take 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 they're also known as a leech they just take from you and again this is not only just material things this is also when it comes to time and support you're always the one that's checking on them you're always the one who is being there for them and when it's your turn and you need them they're busy they can't make it they can't come to this event that you're putting on they you know can't help you out they can't help you move they can't help you do this but yet when it's them they are always happy to receive so yeah always a receiver never a giver is a sign of a toxic friend <laughs> The thing about toxic friendships, though, is that they're not always very easy to spot. And that's why I said, like, I never knew what a toxic friend was up until I watched this TED Talk. I think as people, when we love people, we can be very, very quick to justify their actions and to be like, oh, no, no, this is just what Janet's like. Like, this is just her personality. And until somebody actually points it out to you and is like, hold on a second, this is toxic, it's very easy not to notice and to kind of allow those people in your bubble in your energy and they're actually draining and taking from you and you don't even realize it 
So another sign of a toxic friend is somebody who always comes to you to tell you what this person said about you, that this person said about you. They seem to always be around when people are speaking about you. You have to be careful because why is it <laughs> that people feel comfortable to speak negatively about you when they're around? If somebody is your friend, people naturally wouldn't want to speak badly about you to them because they know that they would defend you and they would come and tell you. So people feel comfortable to talk negatively about you around that person. That person is always the one that's you know keeping you up to date with what's being said about you you need to think what do they say when these things are said about me why is that people keep coming to them and talking negatively about me that is a sign of a toxic friend okay another sign of a toxic friend is somebody that can't keep your business on the down low you know the kind of person that you like can never tell anything to because the moment you tell them you're like instantly anxious and nervous that they're going to tell somebody else like they're known as that friend that is a negative characteristic that's a negative quality if i can't trust you if you're not loyal if you will not protect my information if you're not protect my character and every time i tell you something you have to run off and tell somebody you are a toxic friend friends are loyal a part of being a friend is having loyalty to that person it's being able to keep their secrets keep their information and if they couldn't do that for you if every time you tell them something you're going to hear it from so and so and so and so they're always like oh i'm so sorry no i didn't realize it was a secret toxic friend <laughs> that is a sign of a toxic friend um so yeah those are the kind of like the things that you need to look out for and i would say that if you can at least spot three of those things consistently in somebody that person is a toxic friend there's a difference between having a character flaw and being a toxic friend so if i've said something that's made you think okay i've got this friend that has this one thing then that thing might just be a character flaw that you need to address with them. It might not mean that they are overall toxic. But I would say if at least three of those things are true about somebody in your life, there is potential that they are a toxic friend um, and you need to just guard your heart against them. Um, love them from a far, 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 far distance. It's 2018, guys. There is no excuses for us to allow our personal space, to allow our hearts, our minds and our peace to be contaminated by other people. If they don't bring priests to your life, cut it. <laughs> okay, guys, nice to see you all, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.